Hello. This is an exercise to identify the parent function and write transformation using function notation. Well, to some, sometimes the students get confused as like how to write in function notation. Well, not their problem. We normally start with the function notation and tell them to write down the transformation. So they don't really see the problem from the other side. So let me first give you the function notation form of a transformed function. Okay. So we normally write like this. We say f of x is equals to a times f of within square brackets k times x minus c bracket close plus t. So that's how we write our function transformed function, right? This is how we write transform function. And we say A is a vertical stretch and K is a horizontal compression. I'm assuming all the values to be greater than 1. And C is moving right, C units, and D moving some units up, assuming that all of them are positive greater than 1. Okay. Now, if there is a negative here, then we say it's a reflection on x-axis. If it's negative there, then we say reflection on y-axis, right? But now what happens is here is the problem. And the question here before us is this. We are given f of s as equals to minus 2 square root of 3x, let's say plus 6 plus, uh, let's say, 4. Now, that's our function, and the question is, identify parent function, right? So, of course, so what is a parent function? So, we say parent function is let's say gx equals to square root of x, correct? Because that's a square root function, right? And now, the second part is, write the transformation using function notation. So we have to write transformation in this form. That is what the question really is, okay? So to do so, what we should do is, here, it's a good practice to factor out 3, right? So let me write this given equation once again. So I'll write this as f of x is equals to minus 2, and we have square root. I'll take 3 common, right? And I've got x plus 6 divided by 3, 2, plus 4, right? Now, if you compare these two, and instead of parent function square root x, we just write letter f, we get our answer. So, we could write this in function notation as minus 2, right? And then our function, and we are not writing square root. That bracket and anything in between is giving us this function. Do you understand? And what is k for us? k is 3. So, we'll just write 3 as such, right? Times x plus 2 as it is plus 4. So if we write this, then we get our transform function. Is that okay? Now both ways. If you have to explain the transformation, what do you say here? If I give you a transform function in function notation, you will say reflect on x-axis, vertically stretch by a factor of 2. Since k is greater than 1, it will be horizontally compressed by a factor of 1 over 3, right? And here, horizontally translate 2 units to your left. Everything is reverse here. Do you see inside? And it's horizontal. So if you are multiplying by a number greater than 1, it actually translates to horizontally compressed by 1 over 3, right? And here it looks positive, thinks as if it will be greater. No. Positive means what value of this will make this 0? So you have to come back two units to your left, right? So that's horizontal translation two units left. And plus four, these outside things are for vertical, right? And plus four means that you have to translate four units up. I hope you understand. If I give you a function in this form and ask you, write transformation using function notation, you are expected to write like this, okay? Well. You can try this problem on your own as an exercise, right? Write this function. Let's say g of x equals to minus half x plus 5 whole square plus 2. 
and then you can also try this h of x equals to 2 over 3 and let me write this as uh, 2 over 2x minus 4 minus 5 okay write these first identify your parent function you know it's exponential here and quadratic there and then write it in function notation okay try this out as a practice okay thank you